In the spring of 2011, at the age of 18, my brother Matthew got his first real girlfriend. I had somehow thought that he and I had an unspoken agreement that we belonged to each other, which was really pretty stupid of me. Do you really like her better than me? I don't like anybody better than you, but I barely know this girl. I want to give it a chance. I want to have sexual relationships. Yeah, I know. You want to grow up and you want to have mature adult relationships and not immature, stunted ones like ours. One of the funny things about being in love with your brother is that you can say almost anything you want about him to anyone you want. Because no one wants to go there. People will bend over backwards to put the blandest possible interpretation on whatever you say. Why wouldn't you come with me? I don't see any need to stand waiting outside the subway station. You don't even know when he's going to he's arrive. He's on his way now. I'm going. You're making too big a fuss over this, Jacqueline. What I would like to try, actually, is the unmentionable act. The I-word. But that concept doesn't go over so well with Matthew. It wouldn't bother you? Totally not. If I loved a boy, I would do anything for him. I would never say no to anything. You're the last of the romantics. Romantic with a capital R. This weekend I can't. Why not? It's a vacation and my brother's home from school. And um, I have a lot of stuff to do at home. So you're busy the whole vacation? I don't know, maybe not. That last comment was directed at me, I guess. I guess so. No matter how much I think about it, what it comes down to, he's the best person I know. He's the smartest and the most sensitive and the most interesting. And it's not because he's my brother, it's because he's the best person there is. If he weren't around, I wouldn't love anyone. For me, he's irreplaceable.